Hello everybody, it's been a little while, a while, while since I've made any videos on here. I've um, been pretty busy between work and trying to complete the game here. Uh, but I noticed something, I finally was trying to tackle um, sound and how you separate music and sound effects. So there's like a slider for each one. And just like everyone else, I go on YouTube and search the tutorials and I didn't see anything initially um, there could be something out there but I didn't try hard enough so I just read about it and um, figured out how to do it and I was like well I wanted to share this information with uh, you, you all as well so I'll just show you exactly what I'm talking about oh this may be the name of the company. I don't know. I was just trying out a title screen. You can ignore that. I hope that's not too loud in your ears right now. But yeah, this is the sliders I was talking about to control music and sound effects. I don't have anything hooked up to the sound effects yet, but just to get the idea. Uh, so if I exit out, you see it still saves it if I move it up, turn that down, still saves it, and I quit. Just to make sure that it saved it, the sound effects I think was at zero, and the music was up a little. Yeah, so it saves it. We can think um, what I end up ended up using is Rama has the the plugins and that's what I used and it it does a lot of the work for you as far as saving so I didn't even have to set up any save slots to do this I'm guessing it's either saving the volume in some type of INI file or I'm not sure where he has it saving to but it's been working. Um, I haven't come across any issues yet or if there's any at all uh, so in order to set that up so you can have it separate on like a music and sound effects um, you I created a folder just called sound classes um, you would create a new sound sound class like this I made a master um, I'll say tutorial just for now master and so that's your sound class for the master audio but then you can go further and make childs so this is I'll say tutorial music and tutorial oops sound effects and this can go on and on and to whatever you like but I'm just showing the how to distinguish the two um, so once you create that it's pretty simple um, this is the music that's playing in the beginning so if I went to music and grab this all you have to do is just specify which class is going to from here so you're just basically opening up that audio file and well initially I put DZG master because just to distinguish between because the engine comes with a I guess a default master and I didn't want to mix those up so you could put like just a short um, prefix there to distinguish between the engine sounds or classes uh, so yeah so tutorial master and then tutorial music I don't want to put it on the master because then I can't control it and that will happen the same so if for example if this was a sound effects you will put all your sound effects under the sound effect sound effects class like so and that's pretty much it as far as um, being able to control those I'll put it back to what I had it 
and on the UMG side of things uh, I won't go into how to create sliders uh, but it's just basically slider and you would just drag it on to the you know your thing <laughs> um, so if you have this as your slider I just named it music volume it's checked as a variable and the value is set to 1 right now so by default it'll show up here also you can change the colors of the handle Um, I didn't bind anything. The only thing I did was click to add um, this event here. I didn't use these, but just that, and I did the same on the other one. So you would just click it, and it will create the event. Um, So here are the sliders, music, and volume, which is created when you do that. Same ones here. So you just grab them from the side here, get, and you set value. And then I'm just grabbing from there. you plug it in um, this is Rama's plug in here saves a lot of time made it very simple uh, and it's just if you just search sound and there's a victory sound volume change and then you just specify what class so if whatever music so whenever you have all your music you want to put it under the music uh, subclass and then you would just specify and then so now it'll control everything that's listed under music or uh, sound effects so I did the same here um, once you get that set up the only other thing you have to worry about is when you op when you load this screen you want to make sure it's remembering the settings of where the, pl the player specified the the volume. So if you see, look up here, I just have his other plugin or blueprint. If I go to sound, and it's just get sound volume. So it's grabbing it, I'm assuming from some type of INI file or somewhere else deep within the engine, um, grabbing it. And I have that set value and it's grabbing the slider for music and sound effects and you want this to come off of the event construct so each time events construct is like begin play so each time that uh, screen loads it's going to grab that information and set the slider um, but yeah I haven't come into any issues where the slider has um, deviated um, unless it's in viewport and then you play it in like standalone because I think those have two separate saves so then you might see it keeping the setting of the viewport or the standalone I don't know if that makes sense but uh, yeah that's about it uh, don't look at all that Anyone else embarrassed about um, other people seeing their blueprints? <laughs> I have some pretty bad ones. This one's not as bad. But later, I hopefully tomorrow or next week, I might be able to go over graphic settings again, what I learned. But I just, this brought me out when I saw I couldn't find any videos on this. So hopefully this helps anyone that... Um, having trouble or just hasn't um, wanted to get it to dive into this yet I finally did and I'm happy it's all taken care of now all right I'll talk to you guys later um, have fun enjoy making your games I'm having a blast doing this and I love helping others
others uh, reach their goals too doing it. All right. See you guys later. Bye.